Look at serial killers by the decade. The percentage. So in the nineteen in nineteen hundred, the first decade of the ninth of the twentieth century, as they would call it, seventy five percent of the serial killers were white, and twenty two were black. Twenty two percent were black, and it stayed pretty much in that ballpark up until the seventies. And then in the 80s, that's when you start seeing the shift where serial killers, and it, by the 90s, blacks had overtaken whites. Less than 100 years. Yeah, and that's serial killers. And I think a, a lot of serial killing, the, the, I, like I tell you, the last, what, I don't know, 10 that I've seen on this channel have been brothers <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. We 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 definitely the face of serial killing in this country. Yeah, the main reason the white percent is so high too is back then there were a lot more white people as a percentage of the population as well. So I think I think back then it was like 85-90% was white in the United States up until the 60s maybe this maybe the 50s i don't know but yeah no the 60s that's when that immigration that immigration bill was passed man um, yeah, i forgot yeah. the name of the immigration bill. um but yeah when they um, um let's see what this kid's talking about man this is why you can't trust anything you see from conservatives the end woke miss twitter account claimed that this graph shows that everything that the media has been telling you about interracial crime is a lie showing that black on white crime is the highest. Turns out using that exact same source, that just isn't true. In fact, white on white violence is the highest. And if you look at the end wokeness graph, conveniently, none of these bars are white on white crime. I wonder why that is. They do it because they wanna make it seem like there's some kind of epidemic of black people killing white people. And for those who say, well, this one is per capita and this one isn't, well, I did the math for you. Not only does white on white crime eclipse black on white crime, white on white crime dwarfs black on white crime. And if we. <laughs> okay, <wait>. He's trolling. <laughs> He's trolling. He's trolling, man. That was funny. That was funny. Right. But the statistics, yeah. I would think they would, they, they paint a better story because if you just use raw numbers, you're, you're, like there's way more whites so you're just the numbers the raw numbers are going to be higher just the raw numbers but the you know you're, you're right yeah, yeah yeah you're definitely right about that like you need a rate not a not a raw number yeah, but the raw yeah, right, numbers yeah. if you if you understand the percentages of the population the raw number means a lot that's how right. you derive the rate but people don't understand that shit yeah they I just look you. at the raw numbers and they're like oh look it's even or it's close to even it's like yeah but but thirteen percent. Way dude. less, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Way less you know black. what I mean, like. Yeah. <laughs> but the raw numbers aren't even close, though. <laughs> there right. weren't fourteen thousand Glider on Glider murders last year. The raw numbers aren't the same, man. No, no, no. no I know no. now. I, I admit. I think I, I was wrong about the nine thousand, but I know it's way higher now. Ever since, ever since the 2020 shutdown and all these freaking all this shit like i mean back in the day it was more even but it wasn't really when? even because the rate was always when high back I think, in the day i think when around like 2013 no way in 2013 what are you no talking way. about dude? i bet you're about to say 1964 yeah oh, yeah Twenty yeah. no what are you way. talking about, man? Like, what? What are you? Are you high or something? <laughs> no, no. I'm talking about raw numbers, man. I'm not talking about a rate. The rate's always been higher oh, for black no. violence. The, no, the actual numerical deaths. That's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Right, right. The actual numerical deaths were closer back then, but the rate was by always closer, much higher. But closer would. Hold on. Don't say rate again. The raw number. What do you? When was it ever close? I mean, I'm not even. I'm, I I, I want to look it up. When when did you say? When did you say it was close? Like I said, said around 2013. Yeah, let's let's see if we can find the numbers from 2013. The numerical numbers of homicides. Wow. 
Um, I know we got this, man. Um, it says, how often did newspapers mention the murderer's race? Written and inputted offenders race, multi-race incidents offended. Okay. So um, in articles, when it's a murder, 23% of the articles mention the offender's race if they were white. Um, if they were black, 6% mentioned the offender's race. If they were Hispanic, 3% mentioned the offender's race. Native American, 50% offended. And if they were Asian, 5% mentioned the offender's race. So whites, you're more likely to have your race mentioned in an article during um, about a murder than any other race. Almost what? Four times as much as a black person? Mm, that's great. That's crazy. Um, mm, okay, let's see this one. 2021 murder victimization race per capita. Here you go, your per capita thing, man. Um, of all whites, including Hispanics, two point, okay, here we got to zoom this up. Point, Two five eight percent will be killed, and here goes um, very low minuscule numbers, right? Of blacks, two point two eight. So two percent of blacks will be killed, will be murdered. When with white is point, like basically twenty fifth, a quarter of a percent. Well, blacks is 2.8 to be killed. Salute. Okay, so here we go. White male murderers. These are murderers, not people got murdered, but the people committing the murder. <laughs> per 100,000. So age is 15 to 64. Okay. 5.2. Out of a hundred thousand white males will be murderers. That's five out of a hundred thousand will commit murder. That's all right. Okay. Um, Hispanics, seventeen out of a hundred thousand will be Damn. murderers. Um, and that's within the American system. We know in their countries it's a lot higher. But within the framework of the American system, um, blacks ninety five percent ninety five will be murdered out of hundred thousand. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, man! Holy shit! That and it means... feels like that to me. It feels like that. That doesn't feel <laughs> off to me. Anybody here know anybody who's been murdered? Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to get to. Yeah, my boy just got murdered the other day, man. Because, remember, I told you about the... Remember, I, I don't know if y'all remember, a couple like weeks ago, we were talking about the gun memorial, and I was saying I hadn't known anybody on it for a long time. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, he, was this was, he got killed. Um, he was... Um, we had a complex relationship, man, because you know he was he was like the young homie at one time, and yeah. then it's crazy, like he ended up. My sister, she's fifty, so she's five years older than me. He ended up dating her. Oh, he's thirty eight. Yeah, he's my His occupation says trap. Yeah, he was he's a hood hood dude, man. This is this is this is this is hood like hood like yeah, hood dude, man. Yeah, this is a real 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 like look at um iceberg behind him. That's that's my um that's another dude I know iceberg. Um he's a good guy. Um but this is real hood dude. Like I mean like it is what it is, you know? Um we call him wino too. Um I knew one but person. Yeah. I knew one person who was murdered. That was a guy called David Rhodes. Looking up, is quite a character. 
it was shot it was uh hit it was hit professional hit number of children seven he beat cam newton yeah i mean listen man do he probably got more i like you, you he's probably got more than seven i mean that's probably just the ones that you know he the baby mothers he like or he claimed but yeah he yeah, just a regular, regular hood dude, man. Um, you know, him and my sister had a turbulent relationship. I don't know why she was dating a dude that young. They had a turbulent, violent relationship, man. And it was like, yo, I, you just got to stay out of that shit, man. But it was crazy because, like, I knew him before that. And he was he was, a, he was a good young guy, man. And, I, you know, um, but once they got together, man, Oh yeah, that shit kind of made me look at him differently because you know what I'm saying, like, you know, you know how that shit is. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Take your yeah. sister, right? Yeah, um, you can't take you can't take the dick for her, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you got a lot of shit you got, like all that relationship shit, the bullshit, the violence, the cheating, you just gotta let that shit, you gotta stay away from that shit, man. Um uh but yeah, he that aside, man, being that I knew him before all that shit, I knew him after that shit. Um I will say he was I will say aside from that, man, if you take that chapter out of it, he's a dynamite guy, man. Um that would be my thing about about it. Yeah. You know, loyal, loyal man, a good friend. I mean, he he he'll help he 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 his block, the niggas on his block, they all love him. He down. You know, he could fight. The nigga could fight his ass off. He was, a, you couldn't, like, he's a skinny dude, but he could fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could, you know what I'm saying? They could do a nigga do a thousand chin ups. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had the man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the drink and everything. It's crazy, man, because it's like, <laughs> It's crazy, man. It is absolutely crazy, man. Um, that he got killed uh, right there on Benning too, man. Yeah, that, that's, that's what it say. Yeah, Ben and Rome, yeah, fatally shot on Benning. You know that. You know what time oh, it is on was that. That, man. that the joint, the person. It was what seventeenth from Benning. Yeah. Oh, I heard about. Oh, that was your man. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Damn, that's the trench. Yeah. Oh, that's all oh, right. You already know every like once you once you cross that bridge, like first of all, everywhere in DC where black people live is the trenches. Let's just put it like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, the further you get down Benin, Benin is a Benin is a is one of them roads, man. Once you once you get once you pass Maryland Avenue. Yeah, get active, man. Um, and, uh, for those gliders that don't know, that's what that's that eight street. And so, when you get an Airbnb in DC and they'll talk about eight street, if it's past like 13th, <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> if they say it's H and like 17th, that's a window because that's Bennett Road. That's when it turns to Bennett Road. You know, just don't do it to you. He got shot at 4.08. That's crazy. That's that's like right when the school let out. That's like in the, man, he got shot at 4 or 17th and Benny. That's by the laundry mat, right? Yeah, exactly. In the McDonald's, yeah, right there. Yep. Damn. But that, whole, that joint be live, though. It's always live over there, though. Oh no, nah. he um he ain't from there. He from down like 10th Street and shit like that. Um, he he from down further t- towards H Street, like towards, like you know, what I'm saying Eighth and H. He he down from like that area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he he started. I know he did start hanging up there. I knew he has. He last time I uh, last time I saw him, um, uh, I gave him a ride over there, and he and he, he and I dropped him off at the, he, you know, like East Street somewhere like that. Um, um, yeah, man. Shout out to um. Shout out to Mike, man, aka Wano, man. Shout out to him, man. Um, damn, yeah. You know Sorry. what, though? 
yeah, it, 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 this happened a while ago, like the, the second, like I was late to hear this, man. Um, I, I, I heard about this late, man. I, 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 will, I, that's what, that's one thing about being, living in Pennsylvania, you know what I'm saying? Like you away from all that bullshit, but yeah, RIP to him, man. Damn, he got, that's crazy, man. Um. Yeah, man. Um, mm, mm, mm. R.I.P. Man. Um, yeah. Do they know who killed? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, over there, man. No it's suspects. like no suspects. Yeah. Over there, it could have been something a beef, or could have been something that happened in that moment. You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, like he he was he was out there. Like it ain't like he was no angel. I, I yeah, ain't gonna see yeah. her act like he's you know what I'm saying. Like I ain't gonna see her act like he's somebody that just you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I remember I don't know how this happened. Yeah, yeah I would no. never. <laughs> I would never nah. rent an Airbnb in any of those areas. And it, well, you can't, uh, any I, area. I, look, hold on. Now let me let me say this. Let me say this though. Any area you rent in DC, it's going to be historically like say you rented a, a, a Airbnb on Benner Road, and say you rented it off on a side block, like say you rented it off on 19th and Benner, right? Like right before you get to RFK back there, that, that's a quiet block. And 21st and is on the block. other side, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the side, yeah. But the other way, that's that's kind of quiet back then. You yeah. can find some spots. Yeah, it, it is. You're well, right. I don't, I don't know. I I heard what's isn't DC being is more and more white people going to DC or something? Like that? Oh, been like yeah. that for twenty years. Yeah, man. yeah, but yeah. that ain't. It don't change the blocks. Like they don't change yeah. the blocks. Like they just change the main thoroughfares. But it they 